Help, man, I really need help. I got broken I got a broken leg. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm Carter and there has been a major tragedy today that has swept the entire nation. On the evening of April 14th, 1865, our beloved president Abraham Lincoln was shot in the head and fatally wounded by a man named John Wilkes Booth. John Wilkes Booth used a 44 caliber single shot pistol and snuck past two of our guards and shot President Abraham Lincoln in the back of the head. We have just found out that both of our guards were both drunk and were not paying attention. Now to our on-scene reporter, Austin, who has more details. Thank you, Carter. These men have been accountable for this terrible tragedy that happened here today. The event has happened at the Ford Theater during the play Our American Cousin. Abraham Lincoln was accompanied by his wife, Mary Todd Lincoln, Major Henry Rathbone, and Rathbone's fiancée, Clara Harris. Rathbone has claimed to push the assailant off of the balcony. No one knew that the incident occurred because John Wilkes Booth, who is an actor and regularly performed at the Fourth Theater, knew this play and performed the crime during the funniest line of the play. He waited and when the crowd was obviously laughing to make his escape and everyone thought it was part of the play. When he pushed when he was pushed off the balcony, he broke his leg. He managed to limp out of the theater and into an alleyway where he had a horse waiting for him. Now to Chad, who has reasoned with the guards who were intoxicated to answer some questions. Thank you, Austin. So, why were both of you drunk? Well, we have both been guards for many years and nothing like this has ever happened before. We didn't think anything was going to happen because the war was over, so we went down to the theater lobby and enjoyed ourselves a couple of alcoholic beverages. I see. Now, what exactly happened while you two were down there? Well, because the president was there, the staff on duty received complimentary meals and beverages. Normally, we would have resisted, but since they were free, we decided to enjoy ourselves. Once we were done, we went back to our post, but we drank so much that we were intoxicated. Oh, How do you guys feel that if you wouldn't have done this, this terrible tragedy never would have even happened? We both feel much remorse for President Abraham Lincoln. Are you both aware that you may be held accountable for Mr. Lincoln's condition? Yes, we both know about this and we cannot disagree because we made a terrible decision to leave our post. Okay, thank you for your time. Carter has some more information on John Wilkes Booth's, John Wilkes Booth's whereabouts. Dr. Samuel Mudd has admitted to aiding the country's most hated criminal. He said he only saw a man in need at the time and he did surgery for him. He was unaware that John Wilkes Booth has just assassinated the president. We now have our lead interrogation correspondent at Austin and on-scene reporter to question Dr. Mudd. Thank you, Carter. We are outside of Dr. Mudd's house. In place of business, we have been interrogating Dr. Mudd. Hello, Dr. Mudd. We are from the local news channel, and we have been asked to questions on your recent events involving with John, John Wilkes Booth. Are you aware that you have aided the, the man that has committed one of the most repulsive, vile, inhumane, sick, morally wrong, horrid, filthy, and obscene crimes of the century? Yes, I am now aware of that, but I have already stated that I was unaware of what happened when he came to me. I only saw a man in need. I do not feel terribly wrong at all. <clears throat> I was just doing my job. Although I have deep sorrow for President Abraham Lincoln's condition. Thank you, Carter. For your Thank you for your time, Dr. Mudd. Now back to you, Carter, on this latest information on the case. Thank you, Austin. We have an update from President Lincoln's medical staff that his condition is worsening. They believe he only has a couple hours to live. Now back to our man in field, Chad, who has some very important information about Booth's whereabouts. Thanks once again, Carter. We have some breaking news. Police have, uh, have uncovered a trail that they believe John Wilkes Booth may have traveled on to escape once he left Dr. Mudd's house. Police have uncovered hoof prints suspected to belong to Booth's horse. Police have been following this trail for the past 45 minutes. It seems that our correspondent Carter has more news, some more breaking news. 
Thank you, Chad. Today, April 15, 1865, the 16th President of the United States of America has been declared dead at 7.22 a.m. This tragedy will be remembered forever. This nation has lost a great leader, and he will never be forgotten. Police still have not captured John Wilkes Booth yet. They are searching many possible paths he may have taken. If you have any clues on where John Wilkes Booth may be, please contact local authorities. Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news. Today, April 26, 1865, 11 days after the president was shot and killed, police believe they have found John Wilkes Booth. The local authorities and Marine Corps have surrounded a barn near Port Royal, Virginia. John Wilkes Booth, just a moment ago, rushed inside when he spotted us. Austin is at the scene. The United States Marine Corps has surrounded the barn and is preparing to set fire to the structure. They have warned Booth and have tried to reason with him. He has refused to come out of the barn. They are now about to set the barn on fire. Oh, the humanity! Both Booth have, has not come out of the barn and the barn is ablaze. Oh, we're seeing something crawling out of the <coughs> crawling out of the barn. It's Booth. They're tra they are moving in to make him prisoner. Oh no, he's armed. The, the armed forces are keeping their distance and are preparing to engage the murderer. Orders have been given to fire when ready. Orders have been given to fire. Fire! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the horror day has come to a disturbing close with both the president and murderer shot dead. No longer is John Wilkes Booth a danger to the community. Back to you, Carter. Thank you, Austin. Ladies and gentlemen, what you have seen over the past two weeks was groundbreaking. The president is dead, and his ruthless murderer is also dead. The end result of this disturbing tragedy may be called many things. A blunder, lack of responsibility, or even a crime against humanity. But this reporter thinks it's history. This is Carter, signing out.